Hey, James Watson here, and uh, I'm trying to make a site here on Facebook. I'm going to try to make a page, uh, and I'm going to make it to where I, I've got to figure out how to do this a little bit more, but my ex-wife and I are both artists, and I would like to uh, start selling the paintings to help donate to our soldiers that are homeless and disabled and uh, have mental issues and can't get treatment or medication. Um, I'm going to try and make it to where... If at all possible, I'll make it to where uh, you could send clothes or jackets or whatnot because it's really cold up here where I'm at. And um, I know that some of the, the family services and the donation places down here have coats from time to time, but sometimes they get they're out so fast because, you know, people stock up on them. So uh, I'd like it to make it to where all soldiers out there can um, get their medications and can get their um uh, you know, stay warm if they can, get them housing, depends on how much is donated. I might draw in a great amount of donations and be able to um, put up some structures for them um, and uh, find out what what will be passed by city code and what I can do. Because if I can get a small portion of land and build like a, a small amount of, uh, you know, just coded enough uh, apartments or, or something then I can make it to where they can get on their feet, get a job, and then once they get on their feet and move out, let the other ones move in. Um, I'd love to be able to find a way to do this for our troops. Um, they've given us so much, and uh, some of these guys, they need prosthetic legs. Some of these guys need uh, false teeth. Some of these guys need their medication. And I'm sick of this coward Obama um, bringing in Syrian refugees when we don't even have the money to afford these punks anyway. Not that we want them, but... Uh, um, and not that we shouldn't hate crime of as they come through the door, but uh, we all know it ain't women and kids coming through the door. If that's the case, tell you what, just send the women and kids, punk. He ain't going to do that. Um, so I would like to make it to where um, if this can continue to turn over nonstop, right, and we can continue to build this, maybe we can pass it on from state to state and make it to where we can make it bigger. Because I know most places that you donate money to take like 90% of it. And like some of my small paintings that let's say sell for only $200, I'll donate 25%. But let's say I have a big painting, a great big piece of art that's like $1,000. I'll donate like 80% of that. Um, I, I know paint's not cheap. Neither is linseed oil and all these other, you know, can sprays and all this other crap and the canvases and everything. And once I pay for that, as long as I pay for, you know, just a little bit of time to where I can get around on gas to take care of some of this stuff, I don't care. I, I'm not really in it for the money. I just want to do it to help these guys because they've done so much to help us. If you're a real patriot uh, and you want to get on board with me with this, um, I'm going to keep track of every receipt. It's going to be completely open to the public so they can see everything. They're more than welcome to see every single penny spent i'll send videos of me going to the store and getting the lumber and me going and getting the jackets and uh um i want you guys to keep this in mind i'm a violent felon um not that the state doesn't consider anything violent except pedophilia which is amazing to me you can be a pedophile or a rapist and you're not violent but if you go swiping a beer you're a violent mofo i don't know where some of these states were uh were formed but good god man uh, so point is I'm a violent felon, but I've got a huge heart. I was always groomed to be in the military. I've always ever wanted to be in the military. I've tried to join numerous times since I got out. They wouldn't let me. Um, 17 years old, I messed up, I robbed a guy. We all make stupid mistakes. I made a few mistakes after that too, but you know what? I was also a loving husband. I've never raised my hand to a woman or a kid. I've uh, absolutely gone out of my way to help troops, the homeless. I donate to St. Jude's, and now I'm trying to build a site for our vets. Uh, there's nothing I won't do. Uh, and, um, you know, if nothing else, maybe I could get, uh, my wife, my ex-wife's name out there, uh, for her art or whatnot. And, uh, that could help her. And, um, uh, I'm also going to try and build a social site that's, uh, going to be a lot better than Facebook. There's uh, one that you can build sites through one and one.com. If I can get some funding to help it get on its feet, I'm going to make it. And people aren't going to get blocked for expressing their opinion. You can express whatever you want. I don't care. That's your right. I mean, uh, the nudity, I think I'm going to have a, like a vault section for adults 18 and up to have all their, you know, nudity jokes and stuff that we find funny, but you know, others don't. So, uh, I'm also running for governor next year. I've got a lot in the mix, but because I own my own business and because I stay at home and because I get an annuity check, I can just do whatever I want. I just sit at home most of the time. Um, so 
I've got a lot of time on my hands. Um, anybody willing to help or or uh, chip in on some of this? Who want to you know say have some time on your hands? You want to be the one to ship out clothes or accept the box of clothes or or whatever? If you want to help, man, I'm all for it. But man, I love our troops to death. And even if that coward Obama doesn't, these guys deserve the world. They went out there and gave their lives, and if nothing else, put them on a the line for us so we could have an opinion. So uh, punk ass monkeys could jump up and down on a flag. Uh, we gave them that right. Um, and we fought for them to have that right, unfortunately, uh, and they shouldn't. Um, so just let me know. James Watson, take care. Bye.